Nails Art of Zen and I'm so excited that we have the opportunity today whilst we start the school holidays to do a little bit of creative um, play. And because you're at home and it's just been one very, very long, um, not quite holiday with your homeschooling, we were going to work on something um, a little fun and a little different. And because we're in spring, I thought we'd do a little bit of a spring blossoms theme and we can work with uh, a number of different types of mediums. So mediums that we'll be using will include paints if you've got some paints at home if you um, have some inks if you are someone who's already quite creative and you'd like to use some inks by all means you can use that and or we're going to use some net natural kind of stains and teas because they're things that you're going to mostly have at home um, so you don't have to go out to the shops to um, to buy anything specific you can work with some basic art paper that you have um, you know drawing cartridge paper or if at best if you only have photocopying type of paper that's fine too we can work with that so how about um, we go through step by step in this video just what you will need and also what you will be doing um, I will be able to demonstrate to you give you an idea of what it looks like and then you can practice so you can then go back and rewind um, and play it all again at your own pace. So we're going to start in the first video. We're going to create using some of the mediums that you have with you, um, some of the branches to start off with. Okay, so we're going to create the branches and then in video two, which will follow this video here, we will go into creating the beautiful stained um, effect of the blossoms. So there's a number of different techniques that we will learn in doing that. Alrighty, let's get started. Here's a list of things that you will need. So perhaps pause the video here. The next thing we need to do is prepare the workspace to make sure that you have covered your surface and that you have the paper and all the materials that you need with you. Let's get started with looking at the technique of straw blowing using a tea stain in this particular instance, but you can use food colouring or paints, whatever you have at hand. The key is to drop droplets onto the paper in a row one on top of the other and blow as hard as you possibly can to get the little rivulets and branches happening. You may need to add a few more drops and push more branches out with your breath. It's really great um, training for your um, breathing. Now you want to turn the paper around to continue the edge so you'll blow it out to the edge of the paper and that finishes off your branch. There you have your branch. Let it dry. Now in this part we're looking at the medium of paints or inks. So you'll need to dilute your mixed paint so you've got a nice well of colour there and mix it up really well and you can see that the consistency is quite runny. It's very liquidy. So you're mixing it up really well and then we're going to drip the droplets again in a line one on top of the other. And with your straw you're going to blow it out and if you don't have a dropper then use a brush and just load your brush really well with the paint or the ink or the food coloring whatever you're using and again with your straw take a deep breath in and blow it out and just guide your straw so you're pushing out the little droplets and getting a little bit of um, the excessive little small branches, which is really ideal what you want. So now we're going to turn our page around and continue that branch to the edge of the paper again. 
and then we're going to add some finishing touches to the branch. I'm using a brush and I'm just going over the areas that I've blown out and just adding a little bit more paint color and pigment into the areas. And now your branch is completed and once again allow this to dry fully. If you want to try some different mediums, you can use regular paper or art paper, mixed media paper or watercolour paper. Here is an example of black tea on regular coffee paper and you can see it kind of gets very blotchy because it's not a very absorbent paper. The inks on watercolour paper is a far better option or stain um, on watercolour paper and even perhaps the food colouring would work.